Hassle, 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 hassle. Sunday poggers.
only offline is people are kiss. Sorry, I have rewatched, but who's ready for the freedophobic sketch chat? Gang, gang. What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, afternoon, pre-noon, no matter where you are in the world. I'm Hassan Piker, and this is the Hassan Ivy Broadcast coming to you live from very cloudy, like super fucking overcast, super cloudy, California, Los Angeles. And we are live on this Eight wonderful months, day. Today is Sunday, May 9th, 2021, 1131 AM. And I am late and I apologize, but I have a pretty good reason for being late. If you, if you give me shit for being late as the daycare provider on Mother's Day of all days, then that means you hate moms, okay? So yeah, guess what? Why did you just self-report that you fucking hate moms and mommies, okay? Because the reason why I was late was because I was looking at houses. With my mom. Which is what good free palace good boys do. Okay? That's what that's what good boys do, boys. So that's what this good boy was doing. Um anyway. Uh as far as personal news goes, last night I ended stream early. God, my hair is okay. It's official, boys. It's official. At the San Abbey wine time, I, I officially need a haircut. Like it is unmanageable. Okay, it is. It is years unmanageable. Mansions, you mean? Looking at houses, uh, aka looking at mansions, you mean? Uh, Los Angeles, my friend. So, uh, you you pay fucking mega mansion prices and get like a very normal house. 
Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep growing it out. I just, it's official though. It's like fucking crazy. The, my hair is, is too long and it doesn't look good anymore. I do need a haircut though. Nine months, let's go. Do you use product? No, this is just straight like. Anyway, um, I do need a hair tie. Listen to the full love it or leave it. And it was really funny. Good job at Hassan Abbey. Anyway, uh, I have an AP world history test tomorrow. Good shit. Go to Manhattan Beach. That's not happening. Be a good I was house shopping. It was fucking devastating, dude. We went to a house. Okay. Some of these houses are fucking nuts, dude. It's like millions of dollars for literally fucking like just the house the size of a shoe okay and it's just like about location right and almost a full year of great content thanks so guys. like they'll just literally be like oh would you like this shoe well okay give me millions of dollars for this shoe because it's like it's in a location that is around other shoes and also fucking Whole Foods. You know what I mean? But Eight months it's crazy. I was looking to move to LA a while ago, decided on Vegas because it's literally cheaper for me to fly every other week to the studio than live in LA. Oh yeah, 100%. A lot of people do that. But I am also the fucking laziest motherfucker on the planet. I'm literally, I'm the laziest motherfucker on the planet. I would never do that. Like I, I don't leave my house. So, you know. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're looking at houses and shit. That's actually something I want to talk about it with respect to, uh, <laughs> it's like a little bit news worthy, but you know how everyone constantly fucking says, I mean, I, I think I briefly brought it up, but like people constantly fucking say, says, uh, people constantly say, oh my God, like rich Damn people are leaving months. Los Angeles. Rich people are leaving Los Angeles. Rich people are leaving Los Angeles. Like the businesses are going to leave Los Angeles. And it's like, no, when you actually look at the people leaving Los Angeles, it's literally fucking poor people and middle class people. And the reason why they're leaving Los Angeles is not because of taxes. It's because they have no money to buy houses here. It's literally property values. It's literally Gosh, real estate. Real estate is the reason so is the primary reason why people are leaving California. Especially from places like LA. Why don't you leave LA? What's the reason to stay? I love LA. I love being here. One okay. Shot, please. I will never be able to describe it to you. When I was younger, I just, uh, I, I visited one time and I was like, I was like a fucking kid. I was like, I don't even remember how old I was, but I was like, this is where I'm going to live one day. I want to live here one day. And then I watched Entourage and I was like, I definitely want to live here. This is what I need to do. Anyway. Guys, I lived in Guys, I lived in fucking the same neighborhood. I lived in the same neighborhood for like 5 years and then only moved like a mile away from that neighborhood. Like you guys don't understand. Like people will always be like, "Why don't you go out travel the world?" It's like, "Bitch, I did. I literally grew up in a different I grew up in a different country my entire life, so this was my travel and then I'm good." You know what I mean? It's like I, I don't understand. Uh, for me, Happy four months, man. I think Love I'm weird, content. okay? For me, the way I see it is like you travel to a destination, okay? And then you go there and you like it, you stay. That's I how I am. Keep doing what what am doing. I going to do? I'm going to fucking spend time and, and try to go through all the motions again and relearn stuff uh, about other places. Like, no, nah, I'm good. I travel to a place. I like the Nine place. I stay. I travel to America. I like America. I stay. 
Uh, I didn't like New Jersey. Immediately after college is done, I fly out to LA. I like LA. I figure out a way to fucking stay. Half That's year, it. Let's go. That's what traveling is for me. Okay. Some people are like, no, I want to go there and live there for a month or whatever the fuck. No, no. I just, I plant. Okay. I'm a human being. Five months blog dance. Uh, back in the day, we used to see fucking water and we were like, that's good. I can live on that thing. I'm going to drink that thing. I'm going to stay right here and fucking plant. Okay. And I'm the and same way. Glad Pogo, I am. I'm the same way. I just, I see an area. Uh, it's, it's fine. There's like, you know, grocery stores around. There's a gym close by. I stay done. Uh, and I don't understand how all these other people are like, nah, dude, you're fucking crazy. You just like, you know, you do all this other shit. Have you peaked Jupiter's legacy? Some halfway decent socialist agitprop in there? It's fucking dog shit, dude. I fell asleep last night watching Jupiter's legacy. Okay, this is the part of the broadcast where I tell you about my personal news. So yesterday I ended the stream early at like six because uh, I was supposed to, I was supposed to fucking hang out with my family. Uh, Marat wanted to take us out to dinner, right? So that's what I did. I, I ended the stream. I oh, Christ, my hair. I'm just going to probably put on, uh, the hat again. It's so terrible. So, um, yeah. So last night we went out, we went to this like restaurant called, uh, Tesse. I don't know. It was very fucking fancy. No, he has to wear that chain for the rotisserie. That's like a chan, chan de rotisserie. It's like a French fucking weird like food fraternity. I don't know how to describe it. It's like my dad and my brother are both part of it. Anyway, they just like the fucking weird shit. Uh, it's like fancy shit. So. So he's like, uh, he's part of this group where they like eat at, uh, the different restaurants or like they'll fly chefs around whatever yeah so uh, anyway so i uh, i went to this place called tesse or I, I guess it's tesse i don't know it's like literally in between two buildings uh there is like some fucking concrete and they were like this is a good spot for us to build a restaurant outside so I went there. It's T-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E, and it's like fucking super fancy. And at first I thought like, oh yeah, the food is like, you know, it's kind of expensive. Uh, but, you know, relatively reasonable for Los Angeles. And then I realized it's like, oh no, you're supposed to share. So you're like, okay, so that means there's going to be a lot of food if you share it, right? No, motherfucker. Bonjour. Actually, as a matter of fact, the food is even smaller. What is going on? Why is it that when you're supposed to share the food, it's not fucking larger, but it's smaller? These are things that make no sense. Okay. If I'm supposed to be sharing the food, then that's supposed to be larger portions so that everyone can have some. Restaurant for people on a diet. No, dude. It's like, it's like tapas. Did you guys get into some wine? They drank wine. I did not. I don't fucking... Dude, it's fucking... It's the, it's the Ramadan, my friend. What do you mean? Allah is watching. Which is why I had a bunch of pork and didn't, you know, drink alcohol, of course. But it's just tapas. Yeah, that shit's crazy, dude. It, like, fucking blows my mind. When, when motherfuckers are like, hey, what's good? Would you like to have a sharing plate? And you're like, oh, sick. Okay, yeah, I would like to have a sharing plate sick i'm thinking in the back of my mind like there's gonna be more food coming like like because obviously like 54 dollars for a fucking steak like that's got to be a lot of steak and they said it's for sharing no surprise bitch it's literally just a regular new york strip but but except for like a 20 dollars to 30 dollars price range surprise it's 54 dollars that's crazy I could have bought the fucking cow, dude. What are you doing? Elon was it even good? Yeah, it was good. There was some stuff that was really good. The no, no, no. The, the food was decent. The food was decent overall. The the uh, the one I posted on my Instagram story, which was the bone marrow, um, whatever the fuck it's called. It's like it's like a type of pasta with bone marrow in it. Oh, that was delicious. 
it was expensive, but it was fucking delicious. How do you like your steak cooked? Medium rare, obviously. What the fuck do you mean? I'm going to like fancy restaurants. It, it would be Half crazy. Of being a dirty socialist hassle. So, and then I realized when I was there, I realized, oh my God, this is literally the third time I have gone outside in the past year and a half for like a meal. Because, like, I was scarfing this shit, right? Because I fasted all day. Because I was like, I don't want to fucking, uh, you know, fuck my diet up. I've been doing really well for the past two weeks. I still fuck my diet up, by the way. Spoiler alert. And and I was, uh, I was just, like, literally just scarfing the tapas plate. And there's, like, people that we don't know there, you know, at the table. There's, like, motherfuckers I don't know. They don't know me. I'm just like, ugh, ugh. Like, I'm, like, you know, fighting people off with my fucking fork because they want to get to the shared plate. And I'm like, nah! on guard right and and my dad is just like looking at me like what the fuck are you doing like you animal right he's, he's sitting across from me he's like you're eating like a, a beast okay you just stop please and and then i realized like oh my god it's because like i i usually either eat like postmates food for the past year and a half or my mother's cooking which is still good delicious obviously or my own cooking, which is pretty solid, right? But I've only had like outside restaurant food three fucking times in the past year and a half. And I was so excited that it's like not Postmates food, which is always cold, no matter what, like obviously, even, and it's fine. I don't really give a shit, but Hass that boggies, like, Hass boggies, Hass boggies. I was excited to eat like uh, restaurant food at a restaurant. And that's why I was just like, <laughs> just shoving it down my gullet like like thinking about if i if i maximize my efficiency in food intake here i will be able to eat all the shared food so that's what happened like that's i was min maxing at dinner shoving everything down my fucking gullet Ajan, pogo 13 months hassle um how should we deal with inflation's direct effect on housing price rises i know you're already kind of moved topics but i want to hear your take on it i don't know brother but um yeah i have fucking no idea how to answer that question okay uh increase supply or make it hard for people to just like sit on properties and fully and and not sell it and see it as just a specific investment anyway Motherfucker be like, hey, I know it's Sunday and we're going to watch like oh, SNL videos and hassle. stuff, but like, how do we fix the housing market in America? Um. Joe Biden wants to take Amit Hassan is our only hope. Yeah, I mean, dude, I. <laughs> that's the funniest thing where people are like, you fucking commies, you hate meat. It's like, dude, I will literally out eat you. I will eat you and then eat your mom after she has a full fucking uh, four course meal, okay? I I am a hungry boy. I'm a big boy and I'm a hungry boy and I love fucking eating meat, okay? So, uh, anyway, I know the Elon playlist is ready to go. Boys, I, I, it's about that time where I should probably tweet out that I'm live, you know? Um, But uh, yeah, daycare is super special Bye. spec. Spectacular Sunday stream where we will get a SNL uh, SNL Sunday return with Elon Musk, then some fun reacts. It's Sunday. Fun day. Fun reacts and I'll finish RE8. Resident That's Mommy nice. Evil. Okay, hold on. Actually, I should start it off with Happy Mother's Day. 
Moms get in for free. Come now. www.twitch.tv slash Hasabi. Dude, I have... This Mother's Day is hitting me different because I looked at on... I, I looked at my Instagram timeline and I have so many fucking friends that got pregnant over the past year. Like, so many friends that got... So many friends that got fucking pregnant. Like, I got hella fucking uh, pregnant uh, dads and moms Jeez. out there now. I'm getting old, boys. I'm fucking. I'm getting old. SNL's actually funny. There's no way SNL's funny. 16 months hassle. Yeah, I don't even have a girlfriend. Like, dudes are out here getting married. Dudes are out here getting married and, and, and getting pregnant while I am, yeah, they're doing mpreg while I am fucking out here, uh, sexless and, uh, with, uh, without a girlfriend with, uh, no girlfriend, uh, coming soon. Another you know what I mean? Thanks. Hassie hassle. This Corona wasn't the only thing fucking people over. What do you mean? I just, I see that and I freak out, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm like. You're not supposed to have a child yet. Like, come on. I'm still a child in my mind, you know? You have two yield. Yeah. My parents were your age when I was born. What the fuck? We're all never going to not be dumb himbos. Seven months hassle. Listen, boys, we are going to do Elon Kun, uh, Epic Poggers, Epic Bacon, uh, Big Chungus, Reddit, 100 Gold in just a brief moment. I don't want to dive into it immediately. You know what I mean? There's a lot. There's a lot to cover. There is a lot to look at with that, with respect to what Elon did, which is why I tweeted it out, which is why you should fucking blast that tweet, because otherwise motherfuckers are going to get in here all day long and say... Oh my God, did you watch the Elon SNL? Wasn't it cringe? Oh my God, did you watch the hassle, Elon hassle, SNL? Hassle, hassle. Wasn't it cringe? Oh my God, don't you want to watch the Elon SNL instead of doing this? I live in a podunk town. I'm 20. And most of my peers are pregnant already. Don't worry, y'all are old. Seven months. Thanks for radicalizing me, you beautiful himbo hassle. I'm 29. I feel like if I got married now, it's too early and I'm at the same age. My mom was already on her second child. Yeah, that's crazy. Poggers Elon Chungus. So the thing is, I have I I've had no spoilers so far. Like I've had zero fucking spoilers so far. Uh with respect to uh the the uh Elon SNL. Central committee, thank you for the raid. Uh hope you had a good stream, brother. Michael from Pennsylvania. Big fan from Scotland. What are your thoughts on Haggis? I love it. I fucking love it. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, dude. Yes, yes, dude. I'll be top Muslim Oji Surion Games. And you got it, dude. You got it, bro. Like this guy. Are you Turkish? Are there Turkish? Hey, what's going on? Why are you wearing uh why are you wearing it? Are you gay? Are you gay? I'll be gay missin Oji Surion top Surion. I'll be top Muslim Oji Surion Games. I was about to add him as a friend. Thanks just like literally just hassle. like Turkish people. Turkish people lose their fucking minds at the at the thought of uh, of a straight dude putting on a uh, nail uh, polish or Love whatever. Me, Hot. Painting their nails. Are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? Why are you asking motherfucker? You, you want to fuck? Is that why motherfucker? Is that why you want to know if I'm gay? Because I'm not going to fuck you, bitch. Hassan is clearly Mexican kappa. Elon Kuhn, what? Okay, thank God it's fucking missing that clip. Okay. Ben Shapibo said, Happy birth, birthing person's day to all the egg-producing homo sapiens of unspecified gender who made the decision to bring a term meaningless cluster of cells.
Happy Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day. Happy Secondary Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day. This Sunday, we have a wonderful Second Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day. Happy Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day. Bro, this dude is so whack. Uh, yeah, Same yeah. joke, dude. Okay. Hence, Legal Guardian of Unspecified Gender Day. It's like... The thing is, like... The, the the Mother's Day stuff, as always, is just like a super fucking uh, commoditized bullshit holiday to buy stuff, right? Every day should be Mother's Day. Mothers are incredible. Okay, they put up with our shit. Kind of like your fucking, you know, uh, daycare provider, i.e. me. Should I ratio Ben Shibibo? Anyway, why are you ragging on him for recycling? I thought you liked the environment. <laughs> Good one. My Chuck coworker told me Democrats are using birthing person instead of Mother's Day. Like, that's the thing. No one says this. And if people are saying this, it's like literally three people in Portland. Okay. Like, it's always... It's always dudes that just like lose their fucking minds over like one person who's like kind of weird. Let me just say something, okay? Let me just say something. Like, you can be woke and over the top woke or you just decide to just like, I don't know, adopt like a, a, a wild designation or a designation that is new and unique, okay? Celebrities do this all the time. They call their fucking, they call their fucking, uh, uh, you know, sons and daughters like Northwest. Okay. They, they do that stuff. It's just Bro, weird. You know, it's you're a fancy lad. Okay. Right now. You've decided to do a fancy lad, but like no one is like, uh, I'm sorry. You literally have to call it fucking, uh, Emix uh, Thursday or, or, uh, you know, uh, unspecified gender birthday or some shit like that. Like no one is doing that. I heard a new good one. I heard a new good one today. The vaccine is giving extra chromosomes. Then link me a YouTube video of a TTS guy like anonymous Biden, talking Joe about Biden new world order through you. Microsoft. Yeah, dude, it's true. It is. Happy Emix Thursday. I would pay any amount of ratio in every tweet by just. For Cuba. I believe it's also being organized by Coda Pink. Let's help by donating. They have already raised $11,000 and their goal is 50k. If you'd like to donate Google People's Forum syringes for Cuba. Bro, no shot. Someone called their child Northwest. They did. Twitter has replaced our dads getting mad at the one vegan option on the menu back in the day. Yeah. It's so like, it's so fucking outdated where you're just like, what do you mean? You're, what? what? What the fuck? They're, they're, they got vegan options in this menu. Are you fucking kidding me? It's like, why does that bother you, bro? Like, let alone... Have you tried fucking... Have you... Have you... Uh... Wait, this is really fucked up. Happy birthing people's day. Like, what are they saying? Like... Isn't this fucked up if you're like, if you had like ovarian cancer or some shit and you literally can't have children and you adopted babies and you're still a mom or you, you married a, a person with children, like you're still a fucking mom, douchebag. Well, what is this? Like, no, only people who have literally given birth. Only we will celebrate those people or like, what are they doing? Are they just like... Are they just like trying to shit on? I can't tell if this is like anti-trans or if they're trying to make fun of people who like claim like happy birthing people's day. I don't, I don't really understand. Like it's mocking Cori Bush. She said it in Congress. Oh God, why? 
Congresswoman criticized for using the term birthing people. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Bro, what the fuck? Yo, Still I love, love Cori Bush. But like, why the fuck? What does she use it in context of? Missouri Congresswoman is being widely panned after calling women birthing people in a Happy speech Mother's on the Day Capitol Tuesday. Cori Bush, Hassan. Democrat, made the comments while discussing how doctors dismissed her pain during her pregnancy. I sit before you, this single mom as a nurse, activist, congresswoman, committed to doing the absolute most to protect black mothers. Bush's son, Zion, now 21, and daughter, Angel, now 20, both born prematurely. Freshman lawmaker repeated the gender neutral language Thursday in a tweet. Every day, black birthing people and our babies die because of our doctors don't believe our pain. Bush wrote Please that the representative's terminology was swiftly day shot day down on Twitter. Birthing people, you mean women or moms? Republican South Carolina. Okay, so this is this is to uh, this is for trans men, right? Like that's the inclusivity in language. What I'm about to say is like my opinion on the word Latinx. Okay, if someone is uh, adamant about using it. It's like, okay, and if they're from that background, I'm gonna be like, sure, I'll use it. Do not fucking, like, but I probably am not going to use it in a normal uh, uh, setting, no matter what, in meaningful capacities, because I, I feel like, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be inclusive. I understand that, but like, like, what it's not even like a percentage of a percentage it's like it's not even a fraction of a percentage like are trans men running around being like uh no sweaty i really want you to fucking make sure that you know uh i am included in uh this this subject like i don't really understand i'm a trans man and i've literally never heard this phrase i don't think most of us care yeah i don't i don't get it like It's just, I, I, I don't understand it. So, um, you know, I, I just like, I, I feel like someone made this shit up. You know what I mean? Like someone was just like, no, this is a good way to be inclusive. And you're like, okay, I guess it is. Let's just go forward with it. I just, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> trans men are fathers for non-binary parents. Yeah. Or, or non-binary parents. Like, when are you going to learn that id Paul is completely saturated with online brain rot? What do you mean? When are you going to learn that? I already know that. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? If you want to be inclusive with Latino, just replace the O with an E because it makes a lot more sense in the language. Latinx is so cringe and white sounding. Yeah, I know. It was a long ass speech. It says mother 100 times, but it says birthing person once and everyone went crazy. Yeah, exactly. It's just like people are losing their fucking shit. People lose their shit at this because they want to lose their shit at it. It's just like. It's it's odd phrasing. Uh but uh it's it's someone trying to be more uh gender neutral or more inclusive with their terminology um i don't know why uh, fucking uh, people lose their mind over it this uh this much and to be fucking fair i don't even uh, think yeah, no, I, I don't even think like trans people are losing their minds over not including, including this language you have been warned. so maybe i'm wrong but it doesn't feel that way Anyway, let's just fucking, uh, that's my, that's my happy Mother's Day for all of you. Yeah. The worst part about Mother's Day is that it celebrates women. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Good job. That was actually funny, dude. Good shit. <laughs> Isn't saying parent much more gender neutral? Doesn't it make sense to call them parents that are birthing people? I don't. No, dude, my head is hurting from trying to comprehend this shit, okay? The person who gives birth isn't necessarily the mother. Conservatives act like giving a child up for adoption is the equivalent of the abortion, but giving Daddy. birth is dangerous. I, I don't want to even fucking think about what conservatives say. 
in medical terms the language is really important that's why they use people who menstruate just like birthing person outside of medical context it's over wokeness or right-wing ammunition yeah We're really not as an MB person. It seems like something used to refer to medical rights about those who give birth, but was co-opted to make it sound like crazy and liberal talk. Yeah, if a fucking doctor is saying it, it's entirely different. You want to be seen and fucking heard and properly uh, analyzed by your doctor. But if you're like dropping it in the middle of like a, a combo, I mean, she was literally talking about medical procedures. So it totally makes sense if she used it in that context. I do understand that she used it in the context of like literal medical procedures, despite the fact that it's like a tiny, tiny, minuscule percentage of people uh, that this would potentially apply to. But it doesn't matter. She was just being inclusive in a conversation about mothers, pregnancy, and added that into the conversation. Uh, but like people just like hyper focusing on this and making it a larger issue is classic conservative idiocy. And now liberals will also engage in the overcorrective side of things and be like, no, actually it should be birthing people. Uh, you're a fucking asshole if you don't use that. And then that it's like, like a never ending cycle of birth. idiocy on either side. One is malicious and hate filled. The other one is uh, overcorrective and, and obviously not coming from a place of hate, but maybe a little bit of moral superiority, uh, but it's just misplaced anger for no fucking reason. And uh, yeah, it's uh, stupid. It's, it's stupid as fuck. The Santa and my daddy. And the irony, of course, is that we forgot about uh, medical care necessary for mothers or even the disparity in like miscarriages or the disparity in child care for black children and black parents and black mothers in general and black birthing persons. So that was the original fucking conversation. And no one is talking about it because success, the main point shouldn't be talked about ever. What should be talked about instead is the outrage. All right. Let's get to the motherfucking Mother's Day message called open SNL time, boys. Let's do it. And this is for all the. This is what's she fucking wearing? She got like moms out there. It's been a long dark night, and I've been waiting for the morning. What the fuck? What is, is this? Just music? Is she just singing with like a montage of like all the SNL cast members and their moms? Is that Miley Cyrus's mom? Has hug. God damn. Dude, Hollywood really fucking they really do be eating baby fetuses out here, dude. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. That's crazy that she looks like that. Hey. This is just, uh, I mean, here, there you go, dude. That's, uh, Lady. there you go. That I revealed, I leaked it, dude. That's just nuts, dude. There, she's, she's just sipping on that adrenochrome. You know what I mean? What the fuck? You are 30. You should be father. Ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Here it fucking is. Oh, fuck. Before I go into this, though, Eight months it is top of the hour. In the chat. So obviously, before we fucking hit the whammy here, I got to run a quick 60 second ad break, boys. Uh, top of the hour. Every hour is a 60 second ad break. You already know the deal. If you like to no longer see the ads. All you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for five dollars or for free by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription a month. I'm hitting the fucking ad break now, boys. Or use a fucking VPN or ad block, you little Six bitches. Of my life but it's we're going. Because... We're going. We're fired up. We're fucking fired up, boys. All right. Here it is. Fucking Pogus Champ is with a 25 months, dude. This motherfucker's been in this community for 25 months. Still a fucking idiot, dude. There you go. Literally, literally just that goes to show that, like, you know, some people incapable of reform, okay? He's the one who made the good joke earlier. He said the worst part about Mother's Day is that it celebrates women. <laughs> okay, dude, I am so fucking, I am so Big Chungus Epic 100% Bacon Reddited out right now. Oh my God. The hero of Reddit, boys. You know, one thing that hasn't really happened too much that I feel like I suspect is going to start happening and it's going to make me fucking lose my mind 
is people are going to say that uh like elon has uh is it a diagnosed uh asperger's because i i know that someone wrote about it i know that like i i, I think it was like I, I forget which fucking article wrote uh there was an article written about how he has asperger's and he's the first person to have asperger's to host the snl even though there were other people that have had asperger's in the past that have also uh hosted uh snl oh he talks about it in this okay I'm a little fucking worried that like, oh Jesus, that's a spoiler. I only saw that, uh, but I, uh, I'm, I'm like legitimately scared Stanky's that like, or not scared, but just like sense. legitimately fucking annoyed that I'm going to, I'm going to lose my mind whenever people are like, ah, you're being ableist for criticizing Elon. Oh God. Bro, is that Riley Reed in the back? Like, straight up? No ad for me. Thank you. Kind of looks Thank like you. her, no? Thank you very much. It's an honor to be hosting Saturday Night Live. I mean that. Sometimes after I say something, I have to say, I mean that. <laughs> so people really know that I mean it. That's because I don't always have a lot of intonation or variation in how I speak. <laughs> Which I'm told makes for great comedy. I'm actually making history tonight as the first person with Asperger's to host FDW. SNL. Okay, you know what would be funny if he just said, just kidding, I'm just fucking weird. You guys are all ableist. <laughs> That would actually be fun. Or at least supposed to admit it. <laughs> so I won't make a lot of eye contact with the cast tonight. But don't worry, I'm pretty good at running human in emulation mode. <laughs> I'd first like to share with you my vision for the future. I believe in a renewable energy future. I believe that humanity must become a multi-planetary space-bearing civilization. Dang. Those seem like exciting goals, don't they? <laughs> Now, I think if I just posted that on Twitter, I'd be fine. <laughs> Text, the Commons has raid, has but I also write things like 69 days after 420, again. Not the income has capital, has capital. Text, the Commons has raid, has raid. Not the income has capital, has capital. Okay, I'm, I'm fucking turning off TTS. Uh, but, dude, dude, God, this is, oh God, SNL. I love that SNL is leaning into this where they're just like, yeah, we fucking, we're dog shit. Like, we're never going to make you laugh unless you are a very specific person. Okay? We're dog shit. You're never going to laugh at us unless you are already literally genetically modified in a fucking lab to laugh at the jokes, the kind of jokes that we create. So we're just going to fully lean into it and put Elon uh, and, and he's going to Talk about how he said 69 days after 420 again. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> also, 58,000 fucking retweets on that, dude. God damn, people are so stupid. I, I don't know. I thought it was funny. That's why I wrote ha ha at the end. <laughs> Look, I know I sometimes say or post strange things, but that's just how my brain works. To anyone I've offended, I just want to say... I reinvented electric cars, and I'm sending people to Mars in a rocket ship. Did, did, did you think I was also going to be a chill, normal dude? <laughs> oh, my God. I just realized something, okay? First of all, he did none of that on his own, but that's besides the point. Uh, dude, he literally seems like Jimmy Fallon, dude. Or, or, or fucking, is it Jimmy Fallon? The, the really shitty one? Um, shit. Is Jimmy Fallon the older one? Or no, that's Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, it is Jimmy Fallon. Bro, this is straight Jimmy Fallon shit, dude. Look at that. Not Kimmel, not Kimmel. The, the Fallon is the shittier be... one. Chill, normal dude. <laughs> Now, 
a lot of times, people are reduced to the dumbest thing they ever did. Like one time, I smoked uh, weed on Joe Rogan's podcast. <laughs> and now, all the time, I hear, Elon Musk, all he ever does is smoke weed on podcasts. <laughs> like I go from podcast to podcast, lighting up joints. Uh, it happened once. It's like reducing O.J. Simpson to murderer. <laughs> that was one time. <laughs> Fun fact, OJ also hosted this show in 79. <laughs> and again, in 96. What the fuck is he saying, bro? Oh my god, what is he? Is that a self-report? What is happening, dude? Killed both times. Oh. <laughs> is he about to be like, I get two. That's why I get two murders. One reason I've always loved SNL is because it's genuinely live. A lot of people don't realize that. We're actually live right now, which means I could say something truly shocking. Like I drive a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> SNL is also a great way to learn something new about the host. For example, this is my son's name. <laughs> it's pronounced cat running across the keyboard. <laughs> Another thing people want to know is, what was I like as a kid? The answer is pretty much the same as now, but smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but we can also ask my mother, who's here tonight. Oh my God, why does Elon Musk's mother literally look like, like a villain, dude? They both look like villains! Why do billionaires dress like villains, dude? Actually, you know what? That's more honest. I respect that. I actually respect that. I think if you're a billionaire, you shouldn't get a fucking, you should not be allowed to be in public looking like fucking Bill Gates with a goddamn shirt collar popping out of your fucking uh, 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 maroon colored uh, sweater, okay? You literally going forward only are allowed to dress like a villain if you're a billionaire. That's all I'm saying. Like her mom, uh, his mom literally looks like she's from a different planet. Like she would be in like the 80s or in the 60s, 70s, like when they didn't have a lot of money, they would just like, maybe just make you look a little strange or maybe like queer code your character so then everyone knew you were an alien. That's what the mom looks like currently. Like, cause they just didn't have a lot of, you know, they didn't just have a lot of money. So they were just, or, or opportunities to just like really make crazy makeup stuff. So you were just like, yeah, that's clearly an alien because her hair is gay. Anyway, so that's, that's what she looks like. Her name is May, like the month, but with an E at the end. Thanks for spelling my name, Elon. <laughs> Mom, do you remember when I was 12 and I created my own video game called Blastar about a spaceship that battles aliens? I do. I remember they paid you $500 but you were too young to open a bank account, so I had to open one for you. That's right. Uh, whatever happened to that bank account? That's not important. <laughs> you turned that video game about space into reality. Unless you consider that our reality might be a video game and we're all just computer- I'm sorry, dude. If you're not a billionaire, this doesn't happen, okay? I'm sorry. There is just no way that they just let motherfuckers read out like, like they're delivering, like it's that fucking juicer kid who was like, XQC is my hero, XQCL, like that kid did a better job in his fucking high school or middle school presentation than Elon Musk is doing right now. And this does not happen unless you're a fucking billionaire, okay? It just doesn't happen. There's no way. And that's, that's how it is. Okay, that's just how it is. Like you, you bring your mom, it's Mother's Day, you're on SNL and you read cue cards. That's crazy. Good at simulations being played by a teenager in another planet. That's yeah. great, Elon. <laughs> <laughs> well, break a leg tonight. I love you very much. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> And I'm excited for my Mother's Day gift. 
I just hope it's not Dogecoin. It is. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> we've got a, okay, we've got a great show for you tonight. Miley Cyrus is here. Yeah. So stick around, we'll be right back. So didn't Dogecoin dip like crazy after this or something? Like it just like plummeted. I don't know if it was because of this or not, but... Yeah, it was like right as he said this, I guess. Meow! Dogecoin just fucking dipped, but it's uh, it's recovering, boys. I was watching it in real time. It plummeted, but honestly, it's still up from where it was. I mean, not really. It's, if it said like 0 0.6 and it's only gone up to 5.7, it's like crawling back. Hit the one week. Oh, it's uh, it's still higher than where it was like what one week ago or something. Is that what you're saying? Fucking meme coins, dude. It was a sell queue. It would go back up. I think the worst thing that came out of this like GME to the fucking moon shit or Wall Street bets is that so many people on my fucking timeline now literally think they're Jordan Belfort but also didn't get the entire story. They're like Jordan Belfort in the original, in the beginning. Like they watched it and they were like, oh, that's a cool guy who's winning a lot. And they didn't see the second side of the movie. You know what I mean? They, they just like tuned out. They only watched the first half and were like, oh, I would like to also be a cool guy who wins a lot. And, and you know, and they're, <laughs> surely nothing else happens in this. And they just fucking... Uh, they just stop watching. So now they just think that that is how it's supposed to be. And like the amount of people that, uh, that, that talk in terms of like stock trading and, you know, day trading and shit on my timeline has straight up like quintupled their 10 X actually. So many people are just like, nah, dude, it's called shaking the tree. Actually, as someone in the chat already said, no, it's actually called shaking the tree where like big investors know that like uh, they're going to shake the confidence so they can keep buying more once the uh, once the artificial dip is created. They can just like buy more. It's like, dog, you're literally talking about you're literally talking about Dogecoin. OK, just stop. You are straight up talking about a meme currency like you are trying to deal in meme currencies. OK, anyway. Uh, and here it is. Okay, first of the day, boys. DK Mario Link says, Making fun of people with mental disabilities is kind of weird, no? Doesn't matter if he's one of the richest people in the world. Thoughts? Well, guess what, dude? I have a fucking mental disability as well. All right, going forward, you just literally, it's a shield. Okay, I put the shield up, boys. Sorry, you literally can never, ever fucking criticize me going forward. Boom. Guess what, bitch? There it is. There it is, dude. I got the R word pass. I got all the passes, dude. It's my fucking shield. How about that? All right, let's go. Let's move on. All right, let's do post-quarantine conversation. Now, every conversation with people you haven't seen Horrible since quarantine take. started. <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. It's